Welcome to Swizzy Floristry. This demonstration video will show pinning techniques in fine wiring to create a composite flower using tulip petals. I've started by cross wiring a full headed tulip and bringing the two 22 wires down and parafilming over the stem. What I'm going to do is with petals of tulips, I'm going to, using a very fine 28 gauge hook, pin them into the full flower. I'm going to continue to turn the flower as I pin in. At the beginning, just pinning a single petal into the flower and making sure that the level of the petals is slightly coming down from the original full flower, which is going to give us a rosette appearance in the end. I'm going to continue pinning and turning and building the composite flower up. This will be done in several stages. I'm going to continue pinning through with a 28 wire through the tulip with the additional petals. If the petals are too long, you might need to trim off the base of the petal. Also, when you're placing your hairpin wire in, make sure that you're doing it on a 90, a 90 degree angle to the base of the flower. This way, later, we won't be able to see the pinned wires through the center of the flower. So I'm pinning, turning, and pinning more petals in as I go around to create a composite flower from the tulip and its additional petals. So just Place the petal on 90 degree angle with your hairpin through into the center of the flower. And we're going to continue going around to form a fuller flower. So I'm placing the leaf onto the back of the composite flower and pinning the wire in to hide all the wire mechanics. Welcome to Swizzy Floristry. This demonstration video will show how to use our composite tulip flower and make it to a flower girl wand. I have the pre-made composite tulip flower and now I'm going to back it off. I've Put the pepperonium leaves at the back of the tulip flower. What I've also made is a small wreath of dotter vine. I'm then going to slip the wreath of dotter vine up under the flower to help support the head and the tulip petals. Once I have the dotter vine under the head of the composite tulip flower, I'm then going to add a couple of small satin ribbons to finish off. I'm also going to place some trails of the dotter vine onto the arrangement. So these are dotter vine that's been wired on a 22 wire and they're going to extend the line of the flower. I'm also at this stage going to add a couple of Xenodoo leaf. The first Xenodoo leaf that I'm going to put in is going to be at 90 degrees to the, the handle. And I'm going to put two of those over to one side to support the dot of vine. I then have some Xenodoo leaf that have been internally wired and left on their natural stem that I can bring out 
at the face of the bouquet. Remember, this is a small wand for a flower girl. So we need to ensure that everything is on the lightest possible gauge wire to support the material. I'm then going to join all the wires together into one handle, going right up at the junction point where I started to add the material and going down with the power film, twisting and turning as I go to form one straight handle on this item. I'm going to leave a couple of wires a little bit longer at the base of the handle so I can attach the ribbon treatment to it. What I'm going to do with the ribbon is wind it loosely down the stem that I've created over the extending wires and then turn the wires up to secure the ribbon on the end of the stem. I'm then going to cut off any of the excess wires and then I'm going to bring the rest of the ribbon in an anti-clockwise direction, turning it up so that it will form a nice neat handle for the flower girl's wand. This handle is longer than our normal wired pieces because we want it to have a wand-like or scepter-like look to the finished item. When I get to the top of the ribbon treatment on this one, I'm going to cut the ribbon off. And then to secure this particular one, to add some more decorative element to this, I'm going to get some of the bullion wire and spin it up and down over the ribbon to add a little bit of a decorative element and also to secure, firmly secure, the ribbon onto the handle that's been created. So I'm going to take that bullion wire and go right up to the very top of the junction point where all the wires met to hold everything into place. What I'm also going to do is add another element to this bouquet by using a smaller composite flower that's already been created to add it into the first stem to add a second element to the bouquet. To join these two stems together, again, I'm going to use the bullion wire to bring both of the wrapped ribbon stems together. Be quite firm when you place the wire around and make sure you come right up to the junction point where you want to join the two stems together. Just continue to wrap the decorative element of the bullion wire around, paying special attention to come right up to that junction point and go around several times at that point. You can bring the wire back through itself in a little loop and twist the ends together, making sure that the end is placed back up at the bouquet so there are no sharps for the child to hold. Then we've created a double composite flower wand for a flower girl.